まあ、いくら天天と動いても絶対にたまに倒れた道がないすなわちこの玉の姿となり玉の仕事となるならば人間もこの玉のごとく円満に付くというものを完成することができると私は考えたのじゃそこでこの玉のこの姿を人間の道となり和田の真の姿となるそうしたことの原理を和田にとっては科学的の研究となりまた人間完成の上においては道となってこの玉の真の姿というものがあるすなわち円満であればあるほど全て栄えがあったですしまたそこの無理のないところに本当の真の道というものがあるのではなかろうかと考えなのであるそこで私はどこまでもこの玉というものを研究した結果出動原理を考えたその出動原理は何であるかすなわちおさば回り近場ななみというところのこの玉の姿というものを私は常に研究した結果これを私の柔道の出動原理としたのであるはい、This is Shadi, and today we're going to be discussing judo with a more of a science based approach. We know that judo is a martial art that is about strength, technique, flexibility, timing, leverage. All these elements combined create such a beautiful martial art to watch and to practice. So, today's video or presentation is going to be based、uh, upon a book. It's called The Secrets of Judo by Jiichi Watanabe and Lindy Avakian. So,、um, what we will do is study just a little bit of the scientific terms and understand the types of force that are used、uh, in judo. It's not just either technique and sheer brute strength or sheer brute strength, but there is a middle way, and today we're gonna see just How we can understand judo better. So, here you have first of all the force of momentum, you have friction. Now, first, let's start with momentum. So, momentum is,、uh, you know, momentum plus muscular force beats muscular force alone. You have someone who is very strong trying to push a nail into wood,、um, it's going to be incredibly difficult as you can imagine, but with the use of a hammer. Where you can have a lot more velocity into hitting down the nail, the nail is gonna move far faster and far easier. They give an example of the Okuri Ashiharai, where you are using your leg and their leg to send away the far、uh, leg with ease, relatively effortless compared to just trying to hit the leg alone. So, this is Okuri Ashiharai as it is moving. Sliding foot sweep, you send one foot towards the other,、uh, kind of like the principle of the billiard, and then both feet are just sent away, and effortlessly the opponent goes down to the ground.、Uh, the Ashiharai relies more on less of friction, and I will explain it later. So, here you can see Okuri Ashiharai using momentum. In order to sweep the far leg. Now, what is momentum? So, momentum is weight times velocity. So, picture a huge rock that is crawling on the ground for, with some, I don't know, miraculous force. It is just crawling very slowly and it taps you on the shoulder. It's gonna do very little damage. But if that rock is moving, you know, 30 miles per hour or I don't know how much. It's gonna kill you and to, like smash you to pieces. So, here you can understand the、uh, impact of momentum. The more velocity, the more the weight can move with force, and it's just gonna be far more effective. So, if you are not incredibly、uh, heavy or strong, or you don't possess a lot of mass, muscle mass, fat mass, whatever, the more you can be. Uh, fast, or you, the more you use velocity, the more you can be efficient in judo. Now, here, which brings me to this particular paragraph. It says, How to apply the strongest force possible on the opponent. In judo, in order to apply a large force to your opponent, you must induce momentum in him in the shortest time possible. 
as well as make the M weight mass express your whole weight and enlarge the velocity. So they are saying that the faster you enter in for a throw, the more efficient and the stronger you will be. And this reminds me of the small yet the godly Kyuzo Mifune. Check out his entries against his students. Check out this Kataguruma. He was moving alongside him. Look at the size difference. Just enters underneath him with ease, with explosiveness, and just explodes up, lifting him and throwing him. So we always talk about this being explosive, explosive. And well, this is what it actually means. A, a fast entry, yet using relatively very little mass or your body mass. Um, how to increase this particular explosiveness or fast entry? Well, Uchikomi bands and tons and tons of Nagekomi. Look at this. He just drops down, takes him with ease. Very simple yet very fast. Lightning fast. Here they are explaining that you can have far more momentum with Harai Goshi um, using an underhook rather than Steven Lapel. Uh, I think any judoka would tell you that doing a Uchimata or um, Harai Goshi with a Russian arm is far easier than with sleeve and lapel and that's because with more momentum. So now let's talk about friction. Look you can see the, the, Im the immense amount of contact between the bodies and it's saying friction assists in defense against a throw. So the more contact you have um, the easier you can actually defend. So think of the Ashi Harai. Um, the less I would say weight you have on the ground the less friction you will have and thus the harder it is to defend uh, a sweep so but if you have your leg completely on the ground and someone goes for the Ashihara it's going to be incredibly useless unless they use a far stronger reaping force which turns into Gari or reap like Osotogari or um, Ochigari etc but in terms of Deashi, you have to have very little force, or very little weight on the ground, and it's going to be very hard for you to defend uh, the sweep. Hence the timing, hence the explosiveness, hence the stuff that we train for Deashi Harai. Also the tricks, the feints, uh, the twitches, in order to get them to have that weight off the ground. So less friction there is, and the easier the Deashi Harai is. That's why we move them, that's why we uh, flick the lapel, we trick them into moving forward and as they are moving forward you sweep underneath them so here's what you need to have to be a better judoka i would say first you need to train your quote-unquote explosiveness which is how to have far more momentum when entering into a throw you do this through nagekomi bands you do this through endless repetitions of nagekomi with a partner on a crash mat etc of course take care of your uke and thirdly you know try to analyze where there is less friction and from there you can easily attack and it's gonna be harder for them to defend so uh, this book is incredibly large and has so much like formulas and uh, I felt like I was opening my old physics book back in high school so if you are someone who is still in high school very good in physics um, or you are an engineer or studying engineering I bet you will enjoy this book quite a lot um, it's again the secrets of judo uh, and I know that you know I am in my last video about the strength and uh, the old school strength training where they are doing uh, more explosive training cartwheels uh, handstands walks etc and i said that you know become limber and work, focus more on your technique then add the strength this is what i was talking about so i understand that strength coupled with technique with momentum with explosiveness velocity etc it's going to create a monster and there's a, like for example this is why we went from Kano and Mifune to guys like Kimura. So Kimura understood technique, he understood endless repetitions, he understood velocity and yet he added strength to it and this is why he was just an absolute monster. I'm not saying strength is bad but I would say your priority should be velocity, it should be accuracy of technique, it should be countless repetitions. It's far better than you know I'm gonna become incredibly strong and thus my grappling will uh, improve to me that's not how it goes can strength be added into the equation of course 
it is part of the equation but you know if you have far more velocity you know strength as you get older and older uh you're gonna rely more on your countless repetitions over the years rather than your strength so this is why a 65 year old veteran is beating guys who are 20 and 25 through decades of experience and decades of repetition and velocity and explosiveness quote unquote which is now we know that it's far more momentum so if you have anything else to add let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon i have exclusive content for the patrons only I post there once a week, so your support would be greatly appreciated. Of course, don't forget to check out Josh Simon's shop in the description as well, and I'll post the link for this footage in front of you. This was Shady, and thank you for listening.